Uh, well, coming up, the oh. one big event every year <laughs> we might enjoy just a little bit more than you. <laughs> it's because we love him so much. The day our business editor, Rob Maloney, turns into Rob the Builder, and we sit back and enjoy his struggles. <laughs> it's fun. Every Friday it's... after Thanksgiving, I'm like, I'll work, it's... I'll work. <laughs> I want to watch this. This year, he's being summoned back into the kitchen yeah. where another local four chef is taking him on to see who can produce the most Instagram-ready meal. You want to know how it's going? Take a look at my eggs. I put them down on the stove. He was no match for our Steve Garagiola, a chef with his own cookbook featured on Rachel Ray. The two dueled in 2020, an Italian feast of lasagna, toasted ravioli, and Caesar salad. Check this out. This is my uh, sauce for the Caesar salad. So, Steve, we're on our way, man. We're on a roll. But that is not stopping our Rod Maloney. This year, his challenger is our Grant Herms, reporter and weekend anchor. His Instagram reveals another talent. I do all right. I'm an all right cook. I, I, I dabble. I'm in and, in and about the kitchen, right? I've seen Rod's cooking before. He almost burned his cabin down last year, so I think I'm in a pretty good spot. We cooked it in this foil pan, but if you look underneath, you see the plastic there? That was cooked in with the uh, dinner. Oh. And we didn't burn the house down, but we came that close, so. <laughs> I'm confident, confident because Unlike last year going up against Gary Giola and going up against Grant, I'm not intimidated. But Rod's not on Instagram, so he might not have seen any of Grant's many creations. So an Instagram ready meal is something that looks good on the plate. You're eating with your eyes first, and so it's gotta be symmetrical, it's gotta be color appropriate. I think it's gotta be both Instagram ready and it's gotta taste good. I don't even know where to start with that. Instagram. Okay, how do we, here would be my question. If he's on Instagram, how do we know that it tastes good? How do we know that anything that he cooks is anything other than looking good? Rod and Grant will face off Friday at 4 p.m. at Holiday Market in Royal Oak in the Mirepoix Cooking School. Chef Daniela Abel will be there to make sure nothing goes awry, maybe give Rod a tip or two, and judge what Rod and Grant plate by 6 p.m. And I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say it very clearly. Never ever trust a skinny chef. I'm feeling good. I, I like Rod is, a, is an old hat at these things, but and this is his food, right? We're talking Boston food, but this is the kitchen is my my domain. Just be ready. Be ready, son. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's my favorite line. How can you tell it's good if it just if it looks just, if good? If it just looks good. But Don't I remember last people. year when he referred to, he was fixing the sauce for the Caesar salad. Yeah, I think it's called the dressing. There's a little bit of trouble He's there. Such and a good sport. It, I, I do follow, and you should check Grant's out Grant. Grant's impressive. You Grant should follow serious, him on Instagram. Yes. You can't follow Rod. He's a serious cook, so Rod's got his hands found. full. Well, the fun gets underway, as we said, Friday at 4. You can watch right here on Local 4 and on ClickOnDetroit.com. The menu includes some New England dishes, because that's where Rod right. is from. Yep. Thought we'd give him a little advantage. We'll see how he can handle lobster plus a challenging dessert. Of course, we are wishing good luck to both Grant and Rod. Let the games begin. It is just always such good fun. I mean, there's Ohio State, Michigan, and there's Rod against and Rod's laugh up every year. Always is yeah. the best.